This is very different again. The WH is a high pressure range available in one and a half inch or 40 millimeter, the one that we're looking at here, and two inch sizes or 50 millimeter. These pumps are ideal for sprinkling, jetting, long hose irrigation, or firefighting applications. This high pressure is achieved by the design of the impeller and the volute, which we can have a look at now. This is a one and a half inch pump. When we compare to the WB20, which is a two inch pump, you can see that the WH has a much larger impeller and you can see the impeller has four large, thin vanes. The volute, although similar in design with its curved funnel widening towards the discharge point, is again much larger in diameter. This larger diameter gives us the higher pressure. The WH15 is capable of pumping 400 litres of water per minute, but with a total head of 50 metres. That's 80 metres more than the two inch WB20 and with a pressure of five bar. The WH20 can pump up to 500 litres of water per minute. The WB20 can pump up to 600 litres of water, but with again a total head of 50 metres or five bar. If you look at the action video, you will see the WH20 working with a fireman's nozzle. This time, debris of just three millimetres can be pumped. Here we are comparing the WH15, which is a one and a half inch pump, with a WB20, which is a two inch pump. The, both volutes are exposed, and you can see initially that the volute of the WH, the one and a half inch pump, is much greater than the WB20, the two inch pump. When we take the volutes off, we've now exposed the impellers. The veins of the WH15, the one and a half inch high pressure pump, are long and thin and a much broader diameter impeller. When we look at the WB20, a much smaller diameter impeller, but with much broader fins. The fins, when they're broad like this, give much greater flow. The fins, when they're long and thin like this, give much greater pressure.